Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video today. Um, we are going to be showing you a gameplay where I got 67 kills with the BRM, but before this video starts, this class is created by No No Noah. Well, the specialist anyway of this class, which is the Annihilator. Um, but in this gameplay we get exactly 67 kills. I forgot actually how many deaths that we get, but we're using the BRM LMG with that beautiful gold camo on it. Um, this gameplay is more campy because it is on Nuketown with a ton of tryhards. I mean, uh, lately, this was actually pre-patch Nuketown before they removed the car head glitch. Um, playing a little bit of Hardpoint, um, which is a fantastic game mode for getting a bunch of heals and all that. I mean, it's great. If you guys are wondering how to get better gameplays in Call of Duty Black Ops 3, I would recommend putting your sensitivity to a 5. I know that sounds pretty weird. But it makes you so much more accurate at long range, you have no idea, and it, it really does help in this game. If you lower your sensitivity instead of like way higher, like uh, previous Call of Duty, like Advanced Warfare and stuff like that. Like, I put my sensitivity in Advanced Warfare like 10 or 8 or so. Um, I forgot exactly what my sensitivity was, but somewhere around that uh, region anyway. But, um, a new tank got, um, pretty much be the camper to you know, when you gunfight because if you if you're not you have to like um people are gonna be sitting in a corner with a journal LMG or uh, a brecky um content which is not good whatsoever. If you guys are wondering what score streaks I'm running, I'm actually running the UAV Hellstorm and the Hardened Century. Which is a great kill streak combo. I like that kill streak combo and it's really compliments you, so you can um, you can put uh, a hardened sentry in one of your spots that you normally have if you get to a hardened sentry, which is uh, eight and a half kill streak, I think. But like, let's just say that you can put one in the window. And anyone that's trying to kill uh, you in the window, uh, they'll get killed by a hardened sentry um, if they don't take it out. Which is in this game, they should just. Um, like nerf the launchers a little bit because they're so overpowered on taking down score streaks or buff all the score streaks. Um, because one time I put I put the what is it called the wraith? Yeah, I got my wraith and um, it only got me one kill. And I just never equipped the wraith again after that because it took me an 11 kill streak to get right because it was TDM. But yeah, it doesn't give me any kills whatsoever. That is just so just stupid. I mean, I, like I never put two teams up to that, so. But yeah, um, if you guys are wondering what attachments I'm running, I'm running the Reflex. You can run Boa or Elo or whatever site you really want to. Um, I'm running Reflex. Cinebags and Rapid Fire, which is a great combo because all of them complement each other. Uh, the BRM you can run without optics. I preferably like optics. I mean, sometimes I'll take off the optics, sometimes I'll leave them on. It's just personal preference, in my opinion. The iron sights are really good on the gun. Um, as you can see, I kind of suck with the Annihilator. I'm, usually, I would use like the, the Hive or something around there, but. In this gameplay, I was like, you know what, why not? I'm just gonna use the... I'm just gonna use the Nylon and the Nylon and I want to class it up. And... <laughs> I just suck so bad with it, it's not even funny. Um, but it is fun to use, or sometimes I might use the Sparrow. Um, I like using the Scythe quite a bit. Before, I didn't like the Scythe whatsoever. I mean, I hated the Scythe. Um, I don't know why I hated it exactly, but... If you guys are wondering, this gameplay was solo, it wasn't, um, with anybody, I don't think, so, yeah. Uh, soon I am gonna have a supply drop opening, trying to get the new gun, so I already have it recorded, so I'm not gonna spoil that for you, um, but we do get some pretty cool stuff, I'm not gonna mention it. Um, but, yeah, um, if you guys are wondering why I'm running the BRM, because it does such high damage in this, um, game. It's legitimately just insane how much damage this gun puts out. It puts out, um, I think, like 40, um, like 40 damage per shot. So it's 
pretty much always going to be a 3 to 4 hit kill. Some, if it's going to be a 4 hit kill, it's uh, either extreme your own range or you're wall banging somebody like across the map. Um, but hit detection wise, your shots don't register that well in this game. It might be like 4 to 5 um, sometimes, so you got to be careful on that one. Um, I did get a Gorgon gameplay for you guys where I got exactly 60 kills with Gorgon. Um, and I got like 10 kills with the Talon. It was pretty cool. I was running the War Machine as well as in that gameplay. Um, so, let me know in the comment section down below what um, other guns and stuff like that that you'd want me to run with. Um, I'm probably going to try to get a gameplay with the CUDA because no, 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 I tried. Um, like, I didn't see the comment until I already made the video. I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> Basically, so... Yeah, I, I really tried on that one. I didn't know that, um, yeah, he told me to use the CUDA. But, hey, I mean, it was just a little mistake, but I'll try to get a gameplay with it. Um, CUDA's not, like, the best SMG in the game. I like it. It's okay. Um, it's just not one of my favorite guns in the game. I, I'd probably have to use it more. I'm not a big fan of SMGs in this game. I don't know why. Um, the Razorback's really good, I love the Razorback, but um, I don't really like other guns too much. Um, I like the LMGs and pretty much all the assault rifles besides the HPK-30. That, I guess that's just me. Um, I love the SMGs in Advanced Warfare, but I don't like them in this game. It's so weird, I don't know why. Um, I didn't, particularly in Advanced Warfare, I didn't really like the um, ASM-1, which is everyone's favorite gun of all time. Right? I wasn't just that big a fan of it, I would use it, and I would do good with it, it just wasn't that fun in my opinion to use, because like, you knew that you would um, kill people extremely fast, in this game when you have to or you're gonna die, it's not like an advanced warfare, like, if you shot somebody um, a few times, right? You're gonna like kill extremely fast in that game, it was like a lower time to kill than this Call of Duty. So, um, that's why I use, uh, drugs with high damage in this game, but in Advanced Warfare, I mean, the SMGs were so just crap, but they were really fun to use, I guess you could say, um, and they were really good at being crap, I know that sounds weird, but crap to be on this one, but Advanced Warfare is always going to be my favorite, um, game for SMGs. I like the COD Ghost for SMGs, they were really good in COD Ghost, but personally, I like, uh, Warfare SMGs, um, like I love the KF5, I love the, um, what was that gun called, the SN6, I love the, the MP11, the MP11 was probably my favorite gun in Black Ops, uh, no not Black Ops 3, uh, Advanced Warfare, um, <laughs> I love that thing, it, the toxic variant, toxic variant of it was the first actual Barrier in that game that I got of any gun, and I loved it. Like, I would cross map people with it, I would get like 40 and 5 gameplays with that thing. Um, and core as well, before I discovered hardcore, I was like, whoa, you can one shot people across the map with a, um, with a pistol, basically, is what I'm get getting at there. But right now in this game, I have 41 kills, and if you guys are wondering, my strategy is just watch over the hard points. That's basically what my strategy of this is. Um, to get the gameplay, see if I can command work out that guy. But, um, yeah, I mean, people have figured out um, the flank routes to get into the spawn, like, immediately. Um, so, like, they can try spawn trapping, and that's where I uh, come in, where I try to keep our spawn from getting spawn traps. So, that's one thing that Trent needs to fix in this game, spawn trapping. Because it's really bad sometimes in this game. Like, um, the other day I was spawned into the lobby, right? Um, so I was just playing and I was like, you know what, I want to play some down. So, I, um, uh, I went into the lobby. As soon as I joined in, I took two steps out of my spawn. I died. Two steps. Um, the guy was just camping in, um, our house. And then they, um, I didn't like jump or anything, I just took two steps and then he shot me. I was like, nope, I just left the lobby immediately because our entire team was starting to get spawn trapped. 
after that, like after I spawned in again and all of them started getting spawn trap which isn't good. I mean I really don't like how some people try to do that. It's not playing the game right. But hey, that's that's their opinion on how to play the game, not mine, so they can do whatever they want. I just personally don't agree with it. But this gameplay is gonna be wrapping up pretty dang soon and uh, so let me know in the comment section down below how much you guys are liking Nuketown, if you have it. Uh, personally, I love it. It's great, in my opinion. Heck, come on. Whoa. Hold on, sorry about that. Uh, computer screen just turned off while I was making commentary. Um, let me know in the comment section down below what your opinion on Black Ops 3 is. And I'll see all of you in the next video. And I hope you guys enjoy the game. Bye bye.